I just tested out the new Wilson Clash. Whew. Got my butt kicked, but I really like the racket. Don't blame the racket, blame the player. What's up guys, it's Troy with Troy Aiken Sports. Today we are talking about the new Wilson Clash racket. I got to test it out this week and I'm gonna give you my two cents on it. So right off the bat, I wanna let you know that I hit with a 98 uh, inch frame, uh, 100 inches bigger, you can go up to 108 depending on your level. There's some 97s. Um, I usually hit with a 98, so that's why I chose this one. And I have four and a quarter grip, which is my preferred grip size. So I did like a lot of the custom of this racket. Now I want to tell you what it was like when I hit with it. So I played some points with my buddy Kale with it and I gotta say um, I really liked how it felt as far as uh, had great control but because of the flexible bending and the new technology that the Clash brings it had a great benefit of, I felt like I could swing out and the racket would naturally bring it back down for me. It almost felt like in ping pong when you use one of those super fancy paddles that just puts the spin on it for you. Like that's how I felt with the Clash. Like I would just swing and then I thought it would go along on a couple balls but it would just drop in the back of the baseline. So it was nice, I was able to get good depth on it. And as you see in my other racket review of the head gravity um, that's like known for their sweet spot, if you weren't hitting the sweet spot, I didn't really like how my ball went. It wasn't, you know, to hit the sweet spot every single time is, is not easy. I mean, even Federer doesn't hit the sweet spot every single time. Pretty close, but um, but with this one, when I missed the sweet spot, you could definitely tell when you hit the sweet spot and it was nice, but if you didn't hit the sweet spot, it was still a solid ball going over the net. Um, so I definitely like that. Um, one thing that I would say is a minus because I put my finger up high on the racket um, that some people teach, some people keep it down, some people put it up here. Um, you look at like Ranich uh, is serve. I hope I'm saying his name right. Um, you know, he's all the way up here with it. Some people, you know, hold it and just fist, fisting it. Um, but because I have a little grip in here, I also do it with my left finger too, that my left hand goes over where the grip is allowed. So that kind of bothers me where on the racket that I usually use, um, it has a longer grip, so I don't ever have to worry about that. But I like the weight of it. It's probably around 11 ounces. Uh, it's a handle heavy racket, which means that you get more control, but due to the flexibility, uh, it allows you to maintain that same pop that you would get on your original racket. Maybe you could put some lead tape on the head of the racket to give you a little more pop too, if that's something that you need. Um, so Wilson is, is definitely one of the premier tennis brands and there's definitely a reason this technology is awesome. The racket performs at a high level. Um, it can be used for beginners and even I think you'll see this racket a lot on the tour as it gives that last minute bite that will be beneficial for a lot of pro tennis players. If you're debating between a Wilson or a head racket right now, check out my previous video that I did on the head gravity. Uh, different types of players might like the different kind of racket so check it out. Thanks for watching guys.